lost one of my triplets almost six years ago now. I'm here to just tell you a little bit about what we went through. When we first lost Hadley, I don't think I knew what was happening. She was in the NICU, in the intensive care. We were told that we should probably come and see her, that she wasn't doing really well, but I don't think I ever imagined that she was going to pass away. When she did, I knew it. I was holding her and she just wasn't there anymore. And I knew. I remember just being crushed and my husband wanted to hold her and I was thinking to myself that she was already gone, that I was going to hand her to him, but she wasn't there anymore. So yeah, it was just devastating and I don't think I could even wrap my brain around the weight of the loss that we were suffering. So some of my first steps towards kind of re-entry or moving forward with my life took a really long time. Since she was a triplet, my other two triplets were still in the NICU and I think I kind of just spent my whole life and all of my time completely devoted to them. I was petrified that they were going to die too. So I really didn't move forward well for a long time. I kind of stayed home and just surrounded myself by my kids and my husband and didn't get out much. It probably took me almost a year until I felt like I could go places and I wasn't afraid of what people were going to say or questions that we were going to be asked. As far as getting back to normal life, it took me a really long time to do anything that was kind of our new normal. I don't really know that it's ever, it ever will be normal again. Looking back now, I think that what I would change the most about my kind of re-entry process is I would let people in. I really closed myself off and didn't talk to people and didn't lean on people when I could have, didn't ask for help when I needed it. And it wasn't until probably a year after she passed away that I started writing and kind of putting my feelings and thoughts out there. And I started connecting with people that were so much like me and also people who were just friends and just wanted to know what they could do. And I had really never given anyone the chance to do that because I had closed myself off. So I would definitely have tried to put myself out there a little bit more that first year and even after that to open myself up to the support that people wanted to give and to find other people out there that were like me. Anyone else that is watching and is experiencing some type of overwhelming loss, I think that my biggest piece of advice would be just to let people support you when you need it and not close yourself off and also find ways to express yourself. I think it wasn't until I started writing that I really started more of the healing process and putting words with my feelings. I think that writing was a huge, huge step for me. So finding some kind of outlet for your grief, a, a creative outlet, or if you start running or exercising or whatever it is that you need to do, um, just finding some kind of way for you to process things and giving yourself the time to do that. Thank you. Mm -hmm.